Hi guys, I'm Madeline here at Lakeside Table and this is my son Carver and today he's going to be showing me how to make beautifully clean, pristine ice. Okay, so when I go out and it is really wonderful and I love getting a nice big block of clear ice in my drink um, or even like an ice sphere, which are really cool. But you kiddo, you are 18 and you don't go to bars. So what is it about clear ice that you got so fascinated with? Well, it's really because regular ice is sad. Oh, what's so sad about it? Uh, well, as you can see, it's uh, it's foggy and it's, a, it's more of a slug than an actual cube. Uh, whereas a good ice block like this is clear, pristine, and it really gives a wonderful presentation. That's cool, that makes sense. Okay, so how do we start? Well, first you're gonna wanna take a container and you're gonna wanna take like a, uh, a cooler or something like that and fill it all the way up with water. And so once you've done that, you're gonna wanna put that in the freezer uh, and depending on how thick you want your ice, you're gonna want it to be around six to 12 hours. So you're given a whole lot of wiggle room. Yeah. Um, and then once you do that, what you'll be left with is this. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be cold. A tag team. Oh wait, that's a lot of water. Dump yeah. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Would you grab me a uh, chopping block? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, you'll be left with this uh, water bubble inside this block of ice, and you're gonna want to get that out. That is so cool. You've got the cooler in the freezer, right? Mm -hmm. And is the lid open or closed? It's definitely open. Okay. So how does that affect? The, the impurities and how it freezes. Well, the science behind all this is called directional freezing. And so what that means is that the water freezes from the top down, leaving all those impurities towards the center. And so that's why you don't let this freeze 100% of the way because you leave all the impurities in the water. Okay, so when an ice cube freezes 100%, all the impurities are trapped in there. They right? all get trapped into the ice and not in the water. Got it. And then with this, it's all clear because the impurities are in the, the water. water right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so then um, how do you cut it? Well, it's pretty uh, pretty simple. Uh, all you're going to need is a bread knife. I like to use a bread knife, and this is a jewelry uh, mallet. But I, this is a special knife. This is this, one of yes. my good knives, right? <laughs> right. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, all because right. cutting ice <laughs> will on. destroy pretty much anything you decide to cut with it. Um, <clears throat> And so the it. first thing that you're going to want to do, are you? I'm ready. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, so right. what you got to do is you're going to want to, <laughs> you're going to just break the top <laughs> of this thing until you get a hole <laughs> and then just let all that water so out. So you got a, a hole in, yep. nice. Okay, so now what do you do? So once you've uh, drained all the water, it's just a process of uh, getting a block or getting that, uh, that slab of ice. And the easiest way to do that is just to, uh, it's not exact science, but just start to chip away. That's awesome. All those, uh, just the shell. And then you can start to saw at it with your bread knife. That's really cool. And then, So after you, you empty the water and you take care of all that and you get a slab of ice, mm -hmm. what's next? Uh, and then the last part is just really making the blocks. And then, so what I like to do is I'll score along uh, so you can kind of get a, a general idea of what the block's gonna look like. And then once again, you just start to saw into it a little bit. And then once you get that groove, you just kind of hammer away. Until you're left with a chunk like that. That's cool. And then you'll just... Do that again until you get your desired size. Ah! And then you are. And you... Perfect block of ice. That is... Okay, that's cool. All right, do another one. Sure. <laughs> do one a little bit smaller. Because Small? I've got, I've got sure. some water I want to put it into. So. Woo! Perfect. All right. Awesome. 
So you know, the thing that I really like about making clear ice at home is that it doesn't cost anything to make any drink special. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, so thanks so much for hanging out with us here at Lakeside Table. And if you'd like any more tricks and tips, head on over to lakesidetable.com. And until next week, go have fun in your kitchen and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>